I might have done some building since the last episode. What you see behind me is an automatic frog fountain, and this was created by BitGardener, and I will have a link in the description to their tutorial of how to make this. I purposely did not do a video about it because I want you to go watch their video instead. But this is the town center or village center of the village that I have been planning to build for all of those villagers that I kidnapped <laughs> and put in my house. So we're going to get started on that today, and we're going to build the first house on the platform you see behind me. And to build said house, we are going to be using all of these materials. Alrighty, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do some pillars. Do I want to... How high do I want this to be? Let's do two there, and then we'll do three high here. I think that's good. <laughs> I think that'll be good. And what I I want this to be, like, long and narrow. Like, have a very low ceiling. You know what I mean? So I'll do, like, uh, five wide at the most between the pillars. You know, the front and back will be long, but there will be, like, five blocks between the front and the back of the house. Uh, that way, it's kind of like hobbit hole-ish. Like, it'll be similar to my house over there, but it's not going to be too different. I think that's okay. I think it's alright. So let me get in these walls here, and I kind of want this to just not, I don't want to say simple, because it's not going to be simple, but it kind of is. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe specifically what I'm thinking, but I know this wall is going to be closed off. You don't go there. Excuse you. Uh, I want this wall to be, this wall right here to be closed off. This one is going to be open, because... I would like for this house to be a blacksmith. That's kind of what I'm going for here, if you guys haven't already figured that out. And I want to have, like, the open side for, like, the whole blacksmithing area. Um, so that's, like, what's tooling around in my brain right now. This is a new building style for me. This is a bit different than what I'm used to. I've been building for a while, and I've kind of decided that I don't like using the maple wood for the village houses. I don't care for the palette I chose, so I thought it would be a good idea to come over here and cut down a secret wood tree, and now I kind of think I'm regretting that. Well, I might just have enough Sika logs to last me for the rest of this entire series. Okay, so... The reason why I wanted the Sika wood was so I could make these trap doors because I think these look awesome. I love the, like, bright orange citrusy color that they have. Like, look at that. That looks good, in my opinion. It doesn't look good with the maple, so I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with that. But I really like that color, and I really want to keep using it. It's also, I think, conflicting with the spruce windows. Yeah, I feel like that's conflicting quite a bit, so I think I'm going to have to work that out. But otherwise, like, I don't know. I'm at a crossroads now because it's like, I really want to use the maple, but I think the, like, soft citrusy color of the Sika planks might be a better choice. So I think I'm going to give that a try and see how it goes. And I gave it a try, and I like the Sika wood way better than the maple. I mean, the maple is a beautiful color, and I like having it here for the steps. But for the house itself, I like the Sika wood much better. I added some logs above the doors, and I really like this little detail. 
it kind of makes it feel like a cabin, but also it has that like low roof hobbit hole thing. I and with the little sapling that I put there, I think it looks cute. I feel like because this is a blacksmith and I need to have a little stove right here. Now I'm going to try to do oh, that doesn't fit the way I like. Anyways, I'm going to try to do a better chimney than what I normally do, like a detailed chimney, which tends to be kind of complicated for me, but not impossible. So I'll stick that one up there like that. I think I want... Oh, can I not? Oh, I can't because it's a full block. <laughs> me not understanding Minecraft physics very well. Anyway, uh... What do I want to put there? Um... Let me get rid of that first, because I I just thought of something that I think is going to look really cool. One moment. I want to have a hopper underneath the very top part of the chimney where the smoke will be coming out. And I also want to have an anvil where like the blacksmithing area will be. So, God, my inventory is a mess right now. Anyway, let me put this here. Oh, I like that. That looks cool. I'm into that. Normally, I wouldn't do something like this because it's kind of steampunk looking, but I like it. I think it's pretty cool. So, let me take a look at it from a distance. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. The, I'm really happy with this house. Let me uh, put down the anvil. And take a step back again. Yeah. Yeah. This is cool. Alrighty, folks. Here is a tree. And we are going to use this tree to get started on the ritual of the forest. This is something that I have been putting off. And we need to do it. And the way we need to do it is we need to take this brilliant fiber right here. And we need to make a whole lot of this. And we need to turn these leaves into these, you know, gold leaves to get more gold leaves to do the gold powder to do the thing that's, like, really awesome. So let me infect this tree with all of this brilliant fiber. It's very pretty. And the next order of business is I have to get the gold leaves by not breaking the things that are not ready yet. Do this very carefully from very strange angles. See, these gold leaves here, these are the important things. We turn that into the gold powder. Yeah, gold powder, that's what it's called. Um, I'm, I think I'm kind of wasting things here. Next, I have to make these like log stands that are going to go around the tree that. We plant as part of this ritual, um, so we need any kind of log, which is good, plus the gold leaves, and let me look up on the page how many it says I need to have. It looks like I only need eight, so eight. We'll go with eight, and if I need to have more, I can make more, because I have enough. Um, actually, I'm going to turn all this into powder right now, because I can get more. It's a really easy thing to get, as a matter of fact. So if I run out, I don't feel particularly worried about that. So why don't we do this? Tree is planted. Now it is time to surround it with the gold powder. So how does this shape look? Uh, it's kind of like a plus sign. Um, let me go like this. It's a really weird shape, but it's also really interesting and very specific, and I like that. So that's helpful. Okay, so we have that. And these, I don't, it doesn't look to me like they go in any particular orientation, so I'm not too worried about that. So I guess we'll just stick that one there. And. Uh, nothing's happening. Nothing is still not happening. And I put stuff where it was supposed to be. I feel like being taken over by confusion. 
I saw an image with gold leaves on those log pedestals, and I think I might need to have those. So now we're going to sit here and we're going to wait for... Oh, well, I can't make more of that. So we're going to sit here and we're going to wait to get more really fiber. And then we're going to do the ritual. I mean, that's what we came here for. And it's okay that to not know how to do this the first time. And it's okay to figure it out as you go. That's perfectly okay. That's kind of the way mods are. And it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So, you guys can all go there. And this is the last one. I just want an extra gold leaf just in case. I'm waiting for the little sparkly, glowy orbs that say it's ready. Ooh, there they are. Oh! You didn't give me a leaf. I see how it is. Thanks for nothing. Well, anyway. Uh, let's try this again. Please work this time, because I would like to actually accomplish this in this episode. And I'm willing to devote as much time as I need in order to accomplish this. And it's not doing the thing that it's supposed to be doing. Why are you not doing the thing? Why are you not ritualing? Why are you not ritual of the forest? Why do you do this? What am I doing wrong here? Does it take a moment? Is this something where I have to just be patient? Alright, I have the sapling in the center. I have the gold stuff around it. I have the pedestals where they're supposed to be. Or stands, whatever you want to call them. I, I just don't understand how I'm supposed to do the ritual of the forest. It's showing me how to do the token of joy, and I understand that. It's showing me how to do all of the other tokens. Like these guys here. But I don't know how to do the ritual of the forest. I went back and I did some reading and it says it needs a freshly grown sapling. It doesn't appear like anything is happening. What am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? I'm so confused. Like, I'm really... Do I need to take this off? Like, do I have... Is, are these not supposed to be here? Is that what I'm doing wrong? I kind of feel like you should have something on the stands. I mean, that just sort of makes sense. Let me try planting a sapling again and regrowing it. And maybe that will make it happen. I'm not frustrated. I want to point that out. I'm just like trying to work out how this is supposed to be. Like, I'm trying to figure this out. And still, the nothing is happening. <laughs> There's nothing happening. Why is there nothing happening? I don't get it. For those of you who came here wanting to know how to do the Ritual of the Forest, I sincerely apologize because you see all these ingredients right here? The ritual of the forest is making these tokens. It's not you do a ritual of the forest and then you can make the tokens. That's not how it works. No, the token of joy is also the ritual of the forest, a.k.a. the ritual of the forest is also the token of joy. This is actually going to be extremely easy because I have all these ingredients. I just have to go back to my house to get a few of them. But it's good that um, we can do this now. Apple. Torch. Flower. Iron, bottled sunlight, sugar spice and everything nice. Please do the thing. Please ritual of the forest. Freshly grown sapling. Of course I still forgot a step. I would do that. That, that would be me. <laughs> that is 100% me to forget a step.
I thought I would be like jumping around for joy or like screaming bloody murder really excited right now, but um I'm just like there. I did it. Finally, we have the token of joy. We've done the ritual of the forest. That that was not frustrating. It was just it took it's a lot of steps. It's okay. So now that I am a master of nature's aura, I've decided that I need to make the natural altar because reasons. So this is very complicated, and I think we're going to split this into two parts. So today we're just going to make the thing that goes in the center, the actual altar, and not worry about the other structure that's around it. Um, this is super easy to make. And also, it requires the token of joy, something which... We made. Let me grab my silk touch pick for this adventure that we're going on now. Okay, I need to place those three stone like this. At least it's easier to remember than the other recipe, because that was hard. Gold ingot, and token of joy, gold leaf, so token of joy goes here, gold leaf goes here, stick a sapling in the center, uh, that's, that's not centered, it's very not centered, but that is, that's centered, grow the sapling, And, oh, I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting here? There's so, this is such a multi-step process. It's hard to remember all the little, like, step-by-step -step things. I forgot to put the gold powder around the sapling before I grew it. That's why it didn't work. Once I do this enough, I'll be able to remember it, like, super quickly. It's just gonna take me a while, because it's so new. And that's okay, it's perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with that. So, the next step is... I want to make some brilliant fiber, because I need more gold powder, and I need gold leaves to make the gold powder. And so, we've got to do that. And I like being able, by the way, to add the brilliant fiber to just leaf blocks and not have to grow a tree every time because that makes life just so much easier much much easier do 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 waiting for my leaves to turn to gold all right so we've got the crazy plus sign with the gold powder thing so now we just gotta grow the tree. That is so pretty. It's so, so pretty looking. Like, the person who made this mod was a darn genius when they came up with this idea. Ha 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 ha! I have the altar. I am now the master of nature's aura. I can turn nature into aura and aura into nature and all kinds of other stuff. And I really don't quite know what I do with the nature's altar, but that's okay. We're, we will figure that out in the next episode. So I want to thank all of you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then uh, feel free to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. And in the next episode, we're actually going to build the altar. I think I might want to designate a specific area for Nature's Aura that'll be kind of close to the village, because I think that'll be, like, really cool, but we'll cross that road when we come to it. Um, so, in any case, uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.